Hey guys, World's well, Playground here. Thanks for tuning in. Um, right off the bat, I just want to let you guys know there should be two links right now at the bottom of the screen. One will be for upgrading your device to version 3.1.2, and the other will be uh, uh, the exact same video as this, except it's a complete video of the desktop of my computer using a hypercam. Um, just to give you guys visual references of what you'll need to do. Uh, so you can go ahead and click the visual reference video here if you'd like that instead of me talking, telling you guys what to do. And this is to upgrade to 3.1.2 for free if you need to pay for it if you're running um, iPod Touch first or second generation with a firmware that's below 3.1.2 and that you need to pay for. Um, so click the upgrade video if you need your phone to be your device to be upgraded for free, and click the um, visual reference video if you guys would rather that than this. All right, so let's get started. Um, right off the bat, I want you guys to make sure your device is connected into your computer via USB. Now, once that's done, I want you guys to make sure that iTunes is closed completely. Uh, preferably go to Task Manager and cancel any um, uh, programs that involve Apple or iTunes are completely closed, just to ensure that this will work the first time without any, um, without any problems. So, once you've done that, I want you guys to go over to my description and find the Felix Bruns link. I want you guys to click that link and it will redirect you to Felix Bruns website. Now on this website you should be able to scroll through a whole bunch of different versions and firmwares um, on the, the little bottom bar there. And then you'll be able to scroll through iPod Touch first, second, and third generation and the iPhone, iPhone 3G, and the iPhone 3GS. Now if you're not too sure what version that you guys are looking for, I want you guys First off, you got to make sure that your device is version 3.1.2. If it's not 3.1.2, go to iTunes and click check for update. And if you need to pay for it, like I said, check out the video that I showed you at the beginning of the, the, this video, which will allow you to upgrade. So, go to general, under your settings application, then go to about, and then you'll scroll down, and then you'll be able to see your version. My version is currently 3.1.2, 7D11. So, seeing as how my version is 3.1.2, 7011, that's exactly what I'll be looking for under the Felix Brenz's website. Once I've located that, I'm going to click on it, and then I'm going to download it to my desktop. So once you click download, click save, and then save it to your desktop because it makes things a lot easier. Now after that's downloaded, go back to my description of my video, go to the Black Rain link, and then once you click on that, it will redirect you to Black Rain's website. Um, at the very bottom of this page, you'll see two icons, a Mac and a Windows icon. Now, if you're running a Mac, click the Mac icon. If you're running a PC, click the PC icon. Um, now, once you click this, what it will do is it will download the Black Rain program. So, once again, I recommend clicking Save and saving this to your desktop so, it has, so it's easy, easier to access. So, once you've done those two steps, I want you guys to once again make sure your device is plugged into the computer because now you're going to start the jailbreak. Um, with your phone turned on or off, your choice, um, open up the Black Rain program. Once you open up the Black Rain program and go through maybe a few steps of allowing your computer to access the program and allowing it to go on the internet and blah 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 blah, you will be in the end be able to see a pop-up saying make it rain in text in the center of the little pop-up. I want you to click that text. Once you click it, um, your device will automatically maybe flash shut down, turn back on with the little uh, restore icon, you know, with the iTunes USB cord and then the iTunes disc telling you you need to connect to iTunes and then that will flicker off, shut off, turn back on with the same photo as you saw on the Black Rain's website and then it will just load back up again and then, you know, you'll be jailbroken. Essentially, you'll be jailbroken. Once you turn back on your device after it's done going through its process and it basically restores, you'll have a new application on your device called Black Rain. It's up there in the top right hand corner. It's a black raindrop. Click on it, and then this is what you'll see. All right, now once it's done loading, you'll have an option to choose between Cydia, Rock, and Snow. If you'd like to install, all you got to do is tap on one. It will automatically highlight and get a black check mark beside it, and then you'll have an uh, icon in the top right-hand corner to install. Now, if you're curious what Rock is, Rock is basically the new Cydia. Cydia is basically a popular package installer by Suric. Um, now this new Rock application is a cleaner and faster Cydia. So it's basically the exact same thing except cleaner and faster. So more organization and it will load quicker than Cydia. 
So I'm sure a lot of you people had issues with loading Cydia. And Snow is just an application used for unlocking your device if you'd like to run on different carriers. All right, you guys, so that is it. Um, if you guys needed the uh, more in-depth visual referenced video on jailbreaking, you should have clicked the link at the beginning of the video. You can still go back and click that link. And if you were curious about upgrading, once again, you could have clicked the link at the beginning of the video. So you guys, thank you for watching. Please stay, please stay tuned and up to date with uh, my future videos on jailbreaking your iPhone or iPod Touch. Please subscribe, rate five star, and leave any comments if you have any questions or concerns. And send me a personal message if you had any issues during the jailbreak. All right, you guys, so thank you for watching and stay tuned.